Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well and staying safe. I have been gone for a couple weeks because I've had zero way to film and edit videos. My laptop finally decided to just give out, which it was almost 10 years old, so I get it. So I am filming also on a new camera, so please let me know how does it sound, how does it look. The one benefit of this is that I am gonna now be able to actually film reading vlogs before I was on a really, really heavy, big, old, clunky camera, and now I can just film on my iPhone. So definitely let me know if you'd like to see just some cozy, casual reading vlogs. But today's video is gonna be quick, honestly, because it's a little bit of a test to see how this sounds and looks. But I saw on Instagram that Karen Slaughter posted, I'll put the image here, that they just wrapped shooting on the Pieces of Her Netflix TV series. And I had no idea that this was even happening. I am definitely a Karen Slaughter super fan. There's some people out there who have read every single one of her books, and I'm not to that extreme. I've read maybe five of them. But if you like really, really, really dark thrillers, I highly recommend her books. So there will be no spoilers for the book in case you haven't read it. And I'll link my video review of the book down below. Does anybody else who works from home, does that sound, I don't know if you all could hear it, does it just give you a little bit of PTSD? I'm trying to take just a seven minute break during the work day to film this video anyway. But again, no spoilers and let's go ahead and talk about everything, the, all the information that is out so far about this. So for a quick, just high level overview about what Pieces of Her is about, our main characters are Andrea or Andy for short and her mother, Laura. And Laura is sort of the perfect example of a suburban mom. Andy assumes that Laura has no secrets going on, you know, behind closed doors. Until one day, they're just casually out eating. Someone warms into the restaurant. I may be getting some of these details wrong. It's been a while since I've read the book. This person is very violent and Laura seemingly goes into John Wick mode and really quickly handles the situation. And, and what I'm about to say might sound like a spoiler, but I promise it's not. It happens very early on in the book and I can't really describe the book at all without mentioning this. But suddenly her mom appears, her face is on the news because of course she's being touted as a hero. And then very suddenly, I believe it's even within 20 24 hours her mom is shot and I won't give any details beyond that but suddenly not surprisingly Andy's life has unraveled and she starts to trying piece together the pieces of her the pieces of her mother and what possibly was going on in her mother's life and if anyone's read this book they'll understand what I'm trying to say when I say that this book is really hard to even give a high level overview without spoilers but I will just say it's told from Andy's point of view, Laura's point of view, and also forward and backward in time. I will say that this is not my all-time favorite Karen Slaughter book. I enjoyed, I would say, for example, Pretty Girls More, but you know, past Kate gave this five stars, so I must have really enjoyed it. So first, let's talk about everything we know so far in terms of the format of what the show will look like. So it is going to be on Netflix. It, I think, was paused because of COVID, but via Karen Slaughter's Instagram, as I said, it's finally wrapped shooting. It's going to be eight one hour episodes. And if you've read the book, at first I thought that seemed a little bit long, but the more I thought about the book and especially the two different timelines, I could see how they definitely could make this eight solid episodes. The first thing I always look is who's the writer and who's the director, who's it created by. And it is created and written by Charlotte Stoud. And she is the creator behind Homeland which I've only seen a few episodes of Homeland, but from what I gathered, it seemed excellent. And there's no official release date yet, but it's set to launch in late 2021 or early 2022. In terms of the casting, and I was so excited when I saw this, so Laura the mom is going to be played by our horror queen, Toni Collette. I know this is generally where booktubers start talking about, I haven't said the word booktuber in so long, wow. But I know this is the part where generally we start saying if this is who we pictured for the roles or not. Let me know if this is the case for you all. When I was younger, I was always really picturing what actors would would play roles in books that I read. But I found that as I got older, I don't really think about that as much anymore. So I had no actors in mind for this. But I love Toni Collette, love Hereditary, of course. So really, really excited for her in this. And I've never really seen her in a role that requires her to like fight and do some action, so I'm really excited. And then her daughter, Andy, is gonna be played by Bella Heathcote, which as a side note, I was trying to figure out why she looked so familiar, and I realized it's because she was in the movie Relic. I don't review every horror movie I watch on here, but that is a really disturbing one. Some aspects of it almost feel a little bit House of Leaves-esque, 
it has kind of a very cerebral odd ending that I watched with my parents and the ending just made them hate the movie but you know we've got two horror queens who are going to be cast in this show and I was going to talk about the rest of the cast but this is horrible I don't know if anyone maybe it's me getting older I don't have a huge amount of memory around the other characters so I would just have nothing really else unfortunately to add but I am really excited about our two leading actors. So that is everything I wanted to say about Pieces of Her. I know, I know that this was a really quick video but again I was just concerned for all I know when I finish this video you might not be able to hear me. I might not be able to edit it on my new computer so I just wanted to do a quick test. But I did want to ask you all I just finished watching Midnight Mass and I just finished reading My Heart is a Chainsaw. I have so many thoughts on both of them and I genuinely cannot decide which one to post a review of here. So please let me know, number one, which you want me to review first, and number two, when, whether I'm talking about either. Do you want me to do spoilers or spoiler free? So I hope you all enjoyed this video and it feels really good to be back. It felt so frustrating to just not be able to film, but it is all of our favorite time of year, I would assume, October. So I'm really excited to be back at the perfect time. I don't even remember how I end my videos, so have a good one, everybody, and stay safe and see you in the next one. Bye.